Hey guys, it is Baby Kendall from Pashies by Welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video. I'm going to do a war recap for this one, uh, for our recent war against Kornfeld. Uh, they are a German clan that's pretty well known across the war community, so we were pretty glad to be able to war with these guys. And um, this was a potluck matchup, so it was an even war as far as breakdown goes. And uh, we actually did end up coming... Uh, in with the victory on this war 84 to 82 and we were really surprised honestly because uh, like it was near the end of the war and um, it looked like they would win because you know we were calculating how many stars they could get and all that but surprisingly and actually really surprisingly they did not and um, they actually lost by two stars to us so really interesting war because uh, they, they actually failed a lot of dips and what I mean by that is their Town Hall 11s were attacking our Town Hall 10s and they did not get the 3 stars so you can see this was a dip, this was a dip, this was a dip, this was a dip, they were all 2 stars and these 2 Town Hall 10 3 stars were actually by another Town Hall 10 and they had their 10s 2 star our 11s. Now moving down, you'd expect them to clear our 9s, but they actually did not. You can see uh, Dylan's base survived to a dip. You can see uh, this guy's a tunnel 10, 99% did not 3 star. And down here, Wrath, also a dip uh, and did not get 3 stars. So they, had, they left two nines on the board, and um, if they had not failed, any dips they would have easily won this war but I don't know what happened their their 11s of this war maybe they just had a bad war or something but, but they failed all four dips for their town 11 attacks and they also failed a ton of town 9 dips not just these two uh, there were a lot more uh, dips that were failed but then eventually like the bases got three starred by some other guy who dipped uh, but anyways that's what they did to our bases looking at what we did to their bases uh, we actually had a Town Hall 11 3 star, which I'm definitely going to show you guys. And uh, we didn't do too well in their 10s. We tried some 3 star attempts, but we just did not get the job done. And this one Town Hall 10 3 star was a dip. Uh, and then all the 9s were 3 stars. So uh, great job to Pub. We, uh, if we had done better on the 10s, I think we would have been in much better shape. But uh, I mean, we still won the war, so yeah. And great job to Cornfield as well. Maybe just got, you guys just had a bad war or something, but um, good effort and um, definitely hope to arrange for you guys uh, someday. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and check out the end of the war because this war definitely makes it onto my list of the closest wars ever that I've ever experienced. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at like an hour or so left. Um, yeah, you can see right here we were just cleaning up some of their nines, and at this point, Ruthless Rob uh, tried to go for a dip, but he actually failed. And now look at this, 30 minutes left into the war. This is where things start getting really exciting. First of all, uh, their Town Hall 11 fails, and we were like, wow, you know, that was pretty lucky, 97%, you know. And then, uh, they fail a dip, and they finally, like, restar eras but the attack was super close this was the dip by the way uh, the attack was like really really close and the guy just got really lucky in three star eras and then we saw Pine go in take the two star on five he was going for the three star but didn't happen but at least he got the two star and now right here their number one fails on one of our temple ten so now we're getting really excited we're like wow could we actually have a chance to win this war and now look at this four minutes left this is really where uh, the entire war changed. Emmanuel really, really getting that clutch attack uh, on 16. It wasn't clutch attack. It, he actually overkilled the base, but still. Uh, very, very uh, close to the end of the war. Look at this. Four minutes left, and he actually gemmed his army and had just enough gems uh, to gem his entire army and go in on this base and get the three star. Uh, so, this was their last Tahoe 9 that they had standing. So now, at this point, I think the score was tied or something like really close to that. Uh, they do eventually 
Dip and three star Emmanuel, they get one more star. Ruthless Rob gets a another star on their Town Hall 11. So now we're up to 84 now, and we know at this point after Rob two star that there's no way they would catch up. They had one attack left, and they used that to dip, and the guy didn't three star anyways. Um, so yeah, even if they did three star this last dip, it would have would have still won. But had they not failed any dips, like I said, we probably would have lost them more. But anyways, let's get right into this recap. Um, very, very close for Soleil. I mean, my heart was beating really fast at the end of the war. It was coming down to a wire, but Pub came out on top, so I'm really glad about that. Anyways, taking a look at this attack by Jixer, it was a Town Hall 11 3-star, actually a fresh hit. Uh, so yeah, great job Jixer on this base. Uh, he's gonna do bowlers and miners, which is pretty common, because uh, at Town 11, either you're seeing uh, all bowlers, all miners, or a combination of the two, and that's what uh, we're seeing here, as his bowlers come in as sort of the kill squad, uh, along with the warden and both heroes, uh, the king and the queen, and uh, double poison on the dragon in the clan castle, as everything comes in, his queen's gonna be able to shoot down that dragon, uh, and already you can see on the top left his miners are coming into the base uh, taking out that defending king really easily. Eagle uh, actually locks onto the miners now but uh, he drops a heal spell so he is prepared for it. Now the miners are in the dead zone of the eagle artillery so the artillery is going to go down pretty fast to all these miners. You can see there it goes. Uh, good timed warden ability right as the Eagle shots come down, and at the same time, while the miners are in the range of the multi targeted Inferno Tower. Uh, but his miners are going to be able to make their way to that Inferno Tower, take it out, and then after that's taken out, uh, you look at how many miners he has left. He literally has so many miners left that there's no way that this is not going to be a 3 star. Um, and yeah, as all these defenses are going down, there's really only this one section at the bottom that can stop this attack. Um, but uh, that he's not going to be stopped by that little section because all his miners are coming through. There's something like 15 miners in there. Uh, and yeah, no way this base is going to stand. Like, all these miners coming through the base, moving really quickly, taking out building by building. And now everything's going to converge into this southern compartment. Actually, these uh, two compartments, not counting that Dark Elixir drill, which obviously won't do anything. Uh, but the miners have the support of the Warden up there, and they are just moving their way through the base. Uh, just literally nothing to stop them now. This is a 3 star, so beautiful job by Jixer uh, with this fresh hit triple. It really helped the war. I uh, really helped encourage us that you know we were going to win this war because of this, and uh, we actually ended up winning. So yeah, great job. And we're gonna speed through a tiny bit as the miners take out this last Archer Tower and that Elixir Collector for the three stars. So, awesome attack. Uh, now, moving down, unfortunately, we did not three star any of their Town Hall 10s except this one right here, but that was a dip, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. So, we're gonna move down to some Town Hall 9 action. And uh, yeah, some great attacks this war, starting off with Emmanuel. And if you guys remember, this is the attack that I showed you in that war battle log thing. Uh, this was the attack at the very end with four minutes left of the war. He did this attack and uh, he got the three star and gained two extra stars for our war score. So we're definitely going to check out this attack because it was a very awesome attack by Emmanuel. Although it's just an HGHB, but... Uh, he actually did very well on this base. So he's going to drop his queen, and uh, Giants are going to go sort of up to this cannon, and not sure if he really meant that or not, but uh, doesn't really matter too much because uh, his Giants are still going to go into the base eventually towards the air defense. And a uh, Baby Dragon in the Clan Castle isn't going to be too much of a problem because he has the Rage Healers and also the Rage Queen, which are going to take out uh, the baby dragon and now all his stuff is going around unfortunately right now and his giants are sorta in trouble here in the middle but they're still gonna get some uh, they're still gonna do some work in this base they're gonna take out the expo and then the sweeper and then the arch tower right after so he wisely drop some hogs in here to take out the air defense and make sure his healers stay alive because that's the most important part making sure your healers stay alive 
and Rage Spell up there uh, with his troops going around the base. Like, not really the ideal situation, but unfortunately that's what happened during this attack. And at this point, uh, people were watching and not really too sure about uh, what was going to happen because he, he does have a good amount of troops left, but he only has five hogs left. Uh, but the really uh, safer thing here is his giants in the middle, which look at how many defenses they're taking out. I mean, I, his, all his heroes and bowlers went around, but he was still fine this attack. He drops a heal spell right there. Uh, just because he has two heal spells left, so it's not like it'll really matter. Drop the heal spell over there as well, because why not? And uh, at this point, definitely, it's this is going to be a three star, because he has hogs left, he has giants under healers, and uh, yeah, really nothing stopping this attack at this point. So we're going to uh, wait for this expert to get taken out, and then it's the air defense, and after that, nothing to stop this attack. So. Oh yeah, air defense isn't going to hurt his hogs. Uh, hogs take out the air defense, and before you know it, that's a 3 star. So awesome, awesome attack by Emmanuel. Crushed this base, and even though some stuff went wrong in the attack, he was still able to get it done. So awesome attack, uh, and really helped the war. So next out, up, we're going to check Tyler taking out this Town Hall 9 with a Goho. And um, you normally don't really see normal, like, just playing Gohos that much. You, you usually see Govahos or HGHB or other stuff like that. But uh, Tyler bringing back the normal Goho, uh, he does have one Falc, but it's not like that really matters. Because uh, it's, it's basically a Goho. Uh, minions and Valkyries coming out of the clan castle. Uh, but he's going to poison them, and that's not going to be too big of a deal. And uh, his queen is the only thing left, unfortunately, in this mini kill squad. But he activates her ability, takes out that Valkyrie, and now he just spams all his hogs in. Uh, because I think he, this base was already attacked, so he knows there are no double giant bombs. So it's all or nothing, and he just like drops every single one of his hogs, and he even has CC hogs. So this is almost less like a mass hog attack, not really a goho, because the golem was just to take out the queen, uh, which he did successfully do. And now one more heal spell left for all these hogs left. He's probably going to drop it somewhere near his air defense as all his hogs are moving through the base. Um, yeah, at this point, nothing just stopped his attack. You know, once he drops a heal spell, once a last giant bomb uh, that he's going to actually be able to trigger goes off right there. Um, this, this base is done because, uh, you know, if there's just a Tesla and the Arch Tower left to stop his hogs, and definitely that's not enough. He has some cleanup troops around the edge, wisely bringing some archers for those builder sets. Uh, probably could have been fatal if he did not do that, but he does, and it's going to be a 3 star. So we're going to fast forward through the rest of this attack as his hogs clean up the rest of the base. He has some wizards and some archers around. Uh, small bombs are sort of being a nuisance actually taking out some of the hogs, but that's okay because he still has some hogs left for that middle clan castle and he does take it out for the three star. So awesome job, Tyler, bringing back something that isn't done much these days and still getting a three star with it. I love to see that. Okay, right, now down to number 24, we've got Eraz attacking this base with another HGHB. Um, so yeah, pretty nice attack on this one. He's gonna start out at the bottom with uh, the giants and some wizards. Uh, wisely takes care of that builder sub at the bottom. I I know a lot of people skip builder sets in the corners, and that actually costs uh, some attacks. But Erez um, notices the builder hut while he's scanning the base, and he plans accordingly. So a nice race spell right here. Good placement. Not only does it help take out that air defense. It also helps take out the CC troops, uh, so yeah, good value for that rage spell there. He's gonna drop a heal spell right there. I'm not really sure why, because there were the healers right there, but they were getting targeted by the air defenses, so he wanted to take out the air defense ASAP, which he does as his bowlers and giants close in on it. Uh, hogs already coming into the base. He has 12 hogs left and a heal spell left, so um, at this point, the attack isn't looking that bad. Um, and yeah, he drops his last heal spell right there, desperately trying to keep the queen alive. 
and uh, she's at a sliver of health right now. It's really hard to tell if she's going to go down, but she narrowly, narrowly uh, stays alive. Look at how much health she has. That's almost nothing. Like, it's flashing back and forth between a sliver of red and nothing. So that's like one HP literally left. And look at this. He overkilled the base. He has five hogs left that he cannot even deploy uh, his king up, his queen up by a sliver of health and just five hogs left to clean up the rest of the space so we're gonna fast forward awesome attack eras crush this one and yeah so we're gonna move on to the next attack which is actually gonna be the final attack of this recap um i'm trying to keep this recap these recaps nice and short try not to let them go over like 25 minutes uh, so yeah last attack of this recap will be by drizzle on their number 28 and he's gonna be doing the hp h b and it's basically HGHB, except instead of giants, it's P.E.K.K.A.s. And believe it or not, this strategy actually works pretty well. And you're gonna see it go to work on this base right here. Uh, so, yeah, there's gonna, you notice there's a troll Tesla right there, so he, like, drops a troop on there. And, uh, he's gonna start off at the top, looks like. Uh, Baby Dragon is gonna take out that mortar, and... Uh, one of the big advantages I'd like to point out right now about HPHB over HP, HGHB, I mean, uh, is that P.E.K.K.A.s won't get distracted by mortars and stuff like that, because a lot of people these days like to put their mortars near the outside of the base uh, to try to distract those giants from going in, but with this strategy, it doesn't matter because P.E.K.K.A.s attack the nearest structure. Uh, so yeah, a lot better than giants. Another pro of using P.E.K.K.A.s instead of giants is that P.E.K.K.A.s will be able to take out the enemy heroes as you did see right there uh, when they took out the enemy king and also P.E.K.K.A.s have a lot more hit points because the problem with giants is that they can be taken out when uh, like pretty easily especially if there's enough point defenses but with P.E.K.K.A.s there's gonna be have to be there's gonna have to be a lot of damage coming them at coming at them at once in order for one of them to get taken out so P.E.K.K.A.s in my opinion, are a lot better than Giants, especially when doing a strategy such as HP, HP, so definitely recommend this strategy. So he's going to do a Suicide uh, King right there to take out the enemy queen, and at this point, uh, he knows based on, he has two heal spells left, and really not too much of a base left, except this little Tesla farm right there, but he has, he has two heal spells for it, so not like anything will really stop this attack. Uh, Hogs coming through, gonna take out that expo and every hog is getting the benefit of that heal spell now uh, one more test farm to go through and this base is uh, history so yeah he's gonna take out this Tesla right here one more Tesla left not gonna stop these like five hogs from taking it out uh, and yeah he pretty much killed this base with his swag heal uh, clean ability still left and everything and this is gonna be a three star so beautiful attack drizzle Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for this war recap. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and this war. It uh, wasn't the best war for us. We know we could have done better on the Town Hall 10s, but it uh, wasn't the best war for them either. So uh, th this did make for a pretty interesting recap in my opinion. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. And like this video if you did enjoy this war. Um, and as always, subscribe for more content. I make frequent content of Clash of Clans. Um, and goal recaps and uh, base design and stuff like that. So, yeah, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.